Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot in the Pagan Perspective. This week we're talking about Greek philosophers and sacred texts. So this week's question, I'm only going to paraphrase the question here, it comes from Weirdo Witch, who asks, would you consider a Greek philosopher's writings as religious books, and do you incorporate any of their content in your beliefs? And again, I'm just paraphrasing the basic question. There's a big, long explanation in the bottom why they ask that, so go to the bottom bar, check out the topic in its in entirety. So this question is asked because some of the Greek philosophers actually have a lot of pagan aspects in their writings, and this person in particular does use those books in their practice. I, however, and I'm very sorry to say this, I have not read of any of the Greek philosophers as far as their writings, the writings of Aristotle and, and uh, Socrates and such. I haven't really read any of those types of writings. Not really what I'm into, I guess. But it does not mean that I wouldn't enjoy them. It's just not really my thing. But it did get me thinking to what do we consider sacred texts? At least in this aspect, this person used these writings of philosophy in a deeper, more spiritual manner. And I can completely understand where they're coming from, as paganism doesn't really necessarily have a sacred text that is considered like a holy bible or anything like that. We really have to kind of find our own sacred texts in different aspects, whether it's philosophy or other religious texts. And as for answering this question, I would say that if you find it as spiritually insightful, I guess would be the best way to phrase it, if you find it spiritually insightful to view this as a religious text, I would say that it definitely is a religious text. I've said on my own channel, particularly on the Christopagan series, about sacred texts and what they mean to me, that your Book of Shadows is its own sacred text, your own uh, Bible of you, your own way of creating your own spiritual practice. So for me, my Book of Shadows would be my spiritual text, my sacred text of sorts. But it can also go a lot deeper than that. For me, anything that would bring me an uplifting moment in my day-to-day -day life would be a sacred text. It can be considered philosophy, can be considered theology, it can be considered science, or a political stance. To me, they can all be considered sacred in their own way, shape, or form. One thing that I would consider a sacred text in my practice would be the 40-day journey that I'm currently going through on my personal channel. And at its truest form, it's actually just a poem that a friend of mine came up with during Lent of 2014. And I've incorporated it as a sacred text in its own way, shape, or form into my practice. And I believe that the same can be done with these Greek philosophers. Their thinkings and their ideas on paganism, whether it's considered by them to be paganism, would be considered, in my humble opinion, a sacred text. A sacred text to me would be anything that you consider sacred that hits that spiritual note within yourself. So to me, yes, I would consider those sacred texts, those Greek philosophers, as writers of sacred texts. I would definitely consider them sacred in their own right. However, in my personal practice, I don't really use them in my practice. So, 
I hope that's answered the question in its entirety and actually added a little bit extra. I think the one that would probably most be able to expand on this on this channel would be Angelo. I know that he has heavy Greek influences, so he might be able to shed a heck of a lot more than me on this. I don't know if he's planning on doing a video on this. If he is, I'd be very interested in seeing it, either on his personal channel or if he does one here on Pagan Perspective. So, that's all that I have for this week. Next week is Subs Week, so I will not be joining you. Um, looking at my calendar. So I will join you on the 4th. I also wish you guys a blessed Ostara if you're celebrating Ostara today, which I am. It was actually yesterday, but I'm going to celebrate the season of Ostara today, as we are definitely coming into the spring theme of life. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I believe it's Lamas that you are celebrating, so I hope you have a blessed Lamas. And yes, I will be back with you guys on the 4th of April. So until then, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.